Hey there, this is Bijan from PM Exercises, and over the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you about the top seven PM interview questions that are being asked by top tech companies around the world. Let's start with number seven. The question is, you are the PM for Facebook Live. What are your priorities? And this is really a product strategy question. The purpose of the question is to see that you're able to think long term about the priorities of your product given the company's objective, the state of the product that it's in, the opportunities that are in front of it, and the resources that it's got and all those things. So it's a product strategy question, and I have some more videos and learning material on how to answer product strategy questions. Make sure that you're familiar with answering product strategy questions. Another PM interview question that's asked very frequently is a product design question like build a product to buy and sell antiques. And the purpose of this question is to evaluate your abilities to come up with a new product that you're building for the first time. You're starting from scratch. You have to really think about the problem that you've decided to solve, the user groups that you've decided to prioritize, and really the scope of your MVP. Keep in mind that in questions like this one where you have like two sides of the marketplace, you're probably not going to have the time to design the product for both the buyer and the seller. So you have to narrow down the scope of the project as much as possible. And ideally, let the interviewer know that you'd like to focus, let's say, on the buyer side or the seller side. Another PM interview question that's really popular and I highly recommend you to feel very comfortable answering is the favorite product question. And here is like the purpose of the question is to see for the interviewer wants to see that you're able to really explain why a particular product is interesting to you they want to see what makes you interested in a product and now that you're interested in a product how would you go about improving it because if you can think about some great ways of improving a product that you like chances are that you're able to also think about some great ways to improve a product that you're going to be managing so make sure that you can also answer the question of how would you improve the product and you have a few different ways of improving it another interview question that's pretty popular is like question like how would you design a bicycle renting app for tourists and here is really important for you to think about the experience from the beginning to the end the good news is that you're kind of starting from scratch again so um, you can really decide what type of um, for example, bike rides you'd like to focus on or um, how long of a ride you'd like to focus on or, um, you know, what, what type of cities you're going to be focusing on. These are all kinds of things that you can think about when you're answering a product design question. Um, ideally, you pick again a particular user group that you decide to focus on and um, you think about the pain points that you can realize um, when people interact with like let, when they're thinking about renting a bicycle and they have a mobile device and they're a tourist in a new city or a new area. Uh, number three is calculate the number of queries asked by Google per second. And here the purpose of the question is to really evaluate your ability to estimate the size of the market or the number of interactions with a particular product. And basically the, the interviewer wants to see that you can think at a high level about the size of some aspect of the product and i have some videos that explain how to answer and how to answer estimation questions make sure to visit my website at pmexercises.com where i talk a lot about estimation questions and i provide a few examples that people can actually use to practice for their pm interviews number two is an execution question like you come into an office and see that your metric is dropped by 80 percent what do you do and the purpose of this interview question is to really evaluate your abilities to identify the cause of the problem you're constantly making changes on your product and sometimes some of those changes actually result in a negative way it, they impact the product in a negative way and it's important for you to be able to identify the cause of the problem pretty quickly so the interviewer wants to see that you can kind of systematically think about the internal causes and external causes of a huge let's, let's say change in one metric uh, that's related to the product and you can ask a bunch of questions um, and finally kind of arrive at the original cause of the change in that metric so i have some frameworks at productmanagementexercises.com make sure you check it out and the most popular interview question that i've seen interviewers ask a lot is basically improvement questions like how would you improve google maps google has asked this interview question multiple times and they want to see that you're able to really articulate what an existing product is trying to solve, 
what sort of user groups it has, and you're able to pick a particular user group that you've decided to improve the product experience for. You're able to identify the pain points associated with that particular user group, and you're able to think about some great ways of improving that product experience for them. And finally, if there is time, you're able to measure the impact of the changes that you're suggesting. So this is a very important interview question. Make sure you're familiar with product improvement questions. I have a video that goes over how to answer product improvement questions. I have a mock interview with a couple PMs that go over improving different types of technology products. Make sure you check out those videos and make sure you visit productmanagementexercises.com. There are over a thousand interview questions where you can uh, practice with other members of the community. We are 30,000 plus members. We're all experienced PMs and aspiring PMs, and we're all looking to help each other prepare for our PM job interviews. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it.